Yeah mate, I'm in the Great Torrington, massive mate, Great Torrington. It's like a little place, it's near Barnstable mate. Um, I think it's a bit more stable down here though, it's near Barnstable mate. And I'm sat in the church mate, having a cigarette mate, because that's what you do in churches mate, you smoke. Bus mate, 75A. Oak Hampton, massive mate, been there, done that mate, worn the t-shirt mate. So like I've gone down here today and mate into Great Torrington to see what's uh, going on. They call it Great Torrington mate, but it doesn't seem great because I haven't seen many shops yet mate. Just buses and uh, church graveyards mate. And uh, I like to hang out in bus stations. I don't think they've even got a bus station down here mate. So proper, I'm going to have a look around and see what shops they've got here in a minute mate and then be done for the day innit. Well mate, so it's been chucking bus times. Bus times, mate, you know how much you like buses, but this one is, mate, it's got a 90 hour wait for a bus, not 90 hour, a 90 minute wait for a bus, mate, and uh, I don't know what the buses do at these parts, mate, whether they get humped by the sheep or something, mate, but I've got to wait a long time for a bus once I get out of these parts, mate, so I'm not really looking forward to waiting like 90 minutes for a bus, mate, because I've got grown up things to do, mate, and uh, proper, I've got other places to visit. So it was a 90 minute wait for a bus down here, mate. This place is pretty, you know. Shit, mate. What do they do with the buses down here, mate? There's buses that go the upward, not this way, mate. But, oh well, mate. I wasn't going to wait 90 minutes, mate. But it's well rubbish having to wait 90 minutes for a bus, mate. I mean, if you had waited that long for a bus. And the worst part is, mate, it's just started raining. I don't like rain, mate. It's a horrible sting, mate. Ah. And it's like what I call the uh, drizzly rain as well, mate. And, uh,. I've got a walk round in rain. Um, I don't even know where the shops are yet, mate. I don't know if there's any shops actually in here, mate. Hang on, what's this here, mate? Town centre parking, mate. So I'm guessing if I go left, I'll find some shops, mate, and I can do a bit of like shopping, mate, innit? But it's really raining down here, mate. Proper peeing it down. Well, it doesn't seem to be raining as much now, mate, but it seems that I have found a few shops down these parts, mate. But not many. I don't think there's too many down these parts. This is like, not a ghost town as such, but it's quiet down here, mate. I've found a cafe, and uh, I haven't found a shitter yet, mate. I think a shed, actually, a big one. But they don't seem to have one around here. I bet they've probably got one, and I've probably got to pay for it as well, mate. I'm happy with paying for things, mate. Proper, I like them for free. So maybe I'll find some more shops down here. What's this here, mate? Porridge Vale Social Club. T DSC members only, numbers limited. Not my problem, mate. Well, I found the toilet, mate, and I feel a bit more privileged and a bit more relieved now, mate. Get it relieved. Uh, so they've got a couple of interesting things. They've got a car park here, mate, and I do like car parks, mate, because majority of the people down here in these kind of town places think, oh, it's a lovely little town. We don't get anything stolen around these parts, mate. Yeah, mate, well, you haven't had me in town before, have you, mate? Usually it's like... Uh, Yogi Bear and picnic baskets with me and mate instead that all I've got to do on me is pull a car door mate. Oh handbag mate, not bad at all. But um nah I don't don't really fancy any handbags today mate or anything like that or the glad rags mate. I just fancy having a look round and seeing what's going on mate and making my uh, presence known that I am in a, in town innit? Well um I found like a couple of shops now mate. I've found a, found a couple of shops. I've also managed to find a co-op mate. You know, the cooperative, mate, it's every town's got a co-op, mate. Well, 99% of the towns have, mate. And, um, I don't know, mate, I don't know. I might have a, my bag's open, mate. I don't know, I left my bag open. I'll shut that up in a minute, mate. So, um, I'm just going to go and, like, have a gander around the town and uh, see what I can find, in it, if you know what I mean, you know? So, I don't know, it's just, just uh, what's that over there, mate? It's like a weird, like, tower thing, mate. So I'm guessing this could be like the centre of town, mate, the centre, because they've got a post office, they've got a clock tower, mate, and they've even got the Great Torrington Pannier Market. I like markets, mate, you never know what you're going to find in one of those, mate. So I might have a look in there because it's starting to pee down on me a bit, and uh, I can take shelter for the rain before it hit the market, if you know what I mean. So I'm thinking the Great Torrington Pannier Market might be my uh, next spot, mate. I hear Mr. Blue Sky. Mr. Blue Sky. <laughs> so it's, it's got some uh, pretty cool stuff down here actually to be fair mate. I mean there's also all these little vintage shops and uh, 
Art galleries, this is something quite unique for me, mate. I don't really have a little, little of a tour around these parts, mate, but I thought, why not, mate? Why not have a little adventure, have a little gander around? No, nothing really interesting down these, actually. It's just a, a place for really old things, mate, that people want to, like, sell, I guess, mate. And uh, there's nothing that I really want to uh, buy at the moment, mate. Um, um, let me see. So I think we'll go upwards now, mate, and see what's up here. But I think it does interest me, mate. It's a safe over there, mate. And I'll tell you something, mate, I like cracking safes. I prefer dynamite myself. That seems to do the job a bit better, but... Proper, let's have a look at the top of town, innit? Yeah. I haven't been here too long, mate, and the police obviously know I'm in town, mate. <laughs> the Playmobil police, mate. Um, yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, I think there's a lot of shots around these parts as well, mate. It's just like, seems to like go around in a circle or something like that. Um, proper. So, I don't know what to look into down here, mate. I'm not finding too much entertainment, mate. There doesn't even seem to be any, like, fit birds down here, mate, that I could probably get with down here either, mate. So, it kind of sucks, really. It actually looks smaller than it is, mate. Get around, there's actually a bit more if you go around the corners and that. You're quite surprised, really, by just how much there really is in town, mate. Um, well, for nothing that really interests me much, mate, this is the kind of place to take your grandma shopping, mate, just to keep her happy so she uh, gives you a pension, mate, literally. Um, so we're going to go around the other side now see what's up here. Oh yeah, it just seems to like go around in a circle kind of thing. Like I've gone around the top and come like back on myself kind of thing. Um, cut a few gift shops here, mate. Uh, a lot of interesting stuff here, mate, like zombie Elvises and weird things like that, mate. I mean, it's certainly different. But I don't think there's too much more for me to see and do down these parts, mate. I've just had a little gander around, mate, and just uh, see what's on. But it's, yeah, mate, it's just Great Torrington, mate. I mean, it's not far from the Barnstable Massive. It's like where the villagers want to go to the city, I suppose, mate. But proper, I don't think there's a lot I can really do down here. So uh, we've got the Great Torrington or Torrington Massive in here.